Welcome back to Skyrim. Thanks for joining me again. Let's stand up and stretch our legs here. We're at this place. Uh, it's got a weird name. Urkenthand. Looks like it was a bandit camp. With the help of a Teldrin and a summoned demon. Uh, we um, kind of cleared the outside of this place out in the last episode. I, there's probably an inside to it as well, but... Uh, I'm not here for that. I'm here because we are making our way back over to Windhelm uh, in the hopes of maybe finishing off this um, uh, this detective case that we're working on where we're supposed to be solving a crime. Uh, not 100% sure how we're going to do that, but uh, we're going to head back over there and give it a shot. I'd like to complete something. Oh, there's a wolf here. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, you're dead. Oh yeah, you're dead. Okay. You are now food? No, you're not. You're a coat. And you... Where'd you go? Where'd the other wolf go? That was weird. Is it his body way out here now? Oh, it is. Interesting. Take all of his stuff too. Don't know why, but that wolf was carrying an amethyst. Okay, here we go, making our way over to Windhelm. Got our buddy Teldrin with us here. Teldrin is carrying a very interesting um, staff. What is this thing? What the heck is this thing? What in the world? Hey man, how's it going? Oh, it's a horker. Oh, there he is, this guy. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't do it all the time, but sometimes he just summons that dude. Horker's gonna swim away if I'm not careful. Uh, a tusk and meat. Remains? I don't want that, do I? I don't know, man. It's not an ingredient. Man, he even summoned a flame atronach. Golly, dude, you're using all your big guns on a stupid horker. I mean, we could come across a real tough enemy here, and let's go, man. And um, you'll be sad that you used all your stuff on the horker. There's some a pipe or something over there, kind of interesting looking. I think I need to level up. Yeah, um, let's put it into health. Yes, let's do that. I have five perks to increase, and. Um, We'll have to decide what we're going to put those into. Um, I've been using two-handed. Uh, I've been using um, destruction, but I also feel like I should be putting more stuff into smithing and enchanting as well. Uh, here in smithing, this is uh, elven smithing. I, I don't think I'm really looking into doing that kind of stuff just yet. And then over here is a dwarven smithing. So I don't think I'm interested in that. But what I am interested in is up here, I think. This is advanced armors. Can create scaled and plate armor at forges and improve them twice as much. Um, I mean, I guess I need to get elven smithing first. But even if I did, I still can't do advanced armors because uh, I need to be at 50. So I don't feel like I want to do that just yet. Then we've got enchanting. Uh, let's see. This is uh, fire enchanter. Um, down here, next rank, new enchantments are 40% stronger. Let's go ahead and spend some points on this. There we go. Now we can't up, upgrade that again until we get to 60. Soul Squeezer. Soul Gems provide extra magicka for recharging. That's kind of interesting, right? Um, that might be something worth getting. That's a couple things for now. I'm just going to be on our way here. I want to get back to Windhelm. It's cold out here, man. It's cold. I'll tell you the truth, I'm a little worried about taking Teldrin into uh, Windhelm. I'm afraid he's going to use that staff or conjure a nature knock. Oh, no, 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 no. I changed my... I don't want to... No. I don't want to mine a clay deposit. Okay, I'll stand there and mine that forever. You know, that is something that I want to do at some point. I do want to go back to uh, my home and um, work on it some more. The the, the manor. Oh! 
All right, go ahead, take care of that thing, will you? You just take care of that. No match at all. It's a pretty powerful stamp if we could always conjure that dude. Now, I don't think he sticks around for very long. He seems to disappear pretty quickly. There he goes. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey. Can't talk to him. It's pretty hilarious. This is from this What's our next move? Sanguine Rose. If it'll help us get moving. Let's see quicker. if it says how long he's sure. conjured for. Uh Sanguine Rose. Yeah, summons a Dramora for 60 seconds. So he's only around for 60 right seconds. But uh, when he's around, man, he's a big help. Big time. You like my chitin armor? It was specially crafted for me by Grendis for Lope. Uh huh. One of the finest master armor smiths in Marvel. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, so down there, down the hill there, is Anga's mill. And I guess I do want to cross the water. Um, I think there's a bridge down here somewhere, isn't there? I think there is. I don't know if Teldrin's going to follow me down here or not. There's like a little camp over here, too. Oh, hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Yo! Fried mud crab. Oh, look at that. He summoned a freaking wolf. And this guy's a wolf. Surprises. Well, let's um get this chitin from these uh, mud crabs here. It's funny because Teldrin was just talking about his chitin armor. I'll grab some chitin. Oh, there's a skeleton floating down here. Look at this. Skeletons always have gold on them. And then over here, underneath the waterfall, there's some, some stuff. This is kind of cool. Ooh, we got some uh, quicksilver ingots. We've got a Dwarven Battle Axe of Fire. That sounds pretty cool. Of course, now I'm over encumbered. Lots of gold in there. Oh, I'm going to get into this strong box. Nice, that was easy. Circlet of Major Alteration. Gold, Sapphire, Silver, Ruby, Ring. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here, Teldrin. Because, um... Oh, wheat. I'll take the wheat. I need you to carry some stuff. Don't go away from me. No, dude. Come here. What are you doing? Dude. He's like, you're just going to give me something to carry. If it'll help us get moving okay. quicker. Okay. We'll give him some more heavy stuff. Dude. Carry the Iron Warhammer of Chills, the Dwarven Battle Axe of Fire, the... Yeah. Um, why am I not wearing these? Oh, I just picked them up at some point, I guess. A Steel Horned Helmet. Vampire Armor. Circlet of Major Alteration. Circlet of Major Restoration. There, he's carrying all kinds of stuff. Right and behind you. he must really like what he's wearing because I've been giving him some pretty good stuff and he is not... He does not want to put it on. A little camp here. I wonder who this belongs to. Here's some Nordic barnacle clusters. I don't see those every day. Warm ourselves by the fire here before we continue on. Huh. That's kind of cute. Really does make me wonder. There's a bunch of footsteps here. They're not mine. So the developers purposely put footsteps here to show they go here back to this trail. But uh, beyond that, I don't know where they go. Maybe they go down to the mill here. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and walk this way. We'll go on into Windhelm. I don't think I need to get any more lumber right now. I bought quite a bit of it last time I was here. So we're just going to cruise on by there. Here's that bridge. So it looks like I needed to be on this side of the water all along. Who are these people? Uh -huh. Are these more vigilants? They are. 
The vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Yeah, that's good to hear. Wherever the Daedra hide, uh -huh, that's what your friend said. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little bit here. So, hopefully this quest is solvable now. I feel like what I'm supposed to do is talk to your leaf, but when I go talk to him, he doesn't have anything to say to us. So I'm hoping that now, since a couple days have passed, maybe he'll have something to say. Maybe something will have reset. I hope so, man. to get back here man and then we have to do the inventory dance since I'm over encumbered and um my good buddy Teldrin's carrying a bunch of stuff and heck even um Lydia back in uh, White Run's carrying a bunch of stuff for us too so I'll have to go back and say hi to her and uh, get the stuff from her at some point I don't know if I need to make her my companion again uh my follower again before I can trade with her, or if I could just trade with her with Teldrin being my follower, I don't know. So, we're gonna do what the quest says, Blood on the Ice, it says look for clues and get assistance from your leaf. As far as looking for clues goes, I'm just talking. Is that her talking? As far as looking for clues goes, I mean... Heard they're reforming the dock. Jerem is a fine house, Ooh. and it's up for sale. You should talk to the steward in the keep if you're interested. Oh, this, the house is up for sale. The Imperators think us all Jerem's up for sale. Beasts. I'm proof of it. I want it. Okay, we're going to go back here. Uh, actually, I wanted to go back to the um, graveyard where the murder took place. To see you again, friend. I just want to see if there's any more clues around here that I missed the first time. The first couple of times I looked through here. And it's possible that there's something here that I missed. Maybe a murder weapon or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm just really reaching here. I know this isn't where the murder took place. I'm just looking over here. Hey, you. The Imperials think we need their laws. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Been tending your yeah, house? yeah, I know I stink. You smell like a wet dog. Smell like a wet dog. Don't get too far ahead. <laughs> Don't leave me. So this is where the murder took place, right here. I'm not seeing anything. Hey. I lost my twin sister a while back. Yeah. Have you ever lost anyone close? My father says we need to just get on with our lives. It's that easy. Huh? <laughs> huh? She caught me looking in her, in her basket. Well, I mean... I don't see anything else here. It's like somebody cleaned oh, up the did blood. You, need something? you know, the blood used to come up these steps here and used to go all the way to Hajarum, but it's not there anymore. So... That's not... important anymore. So... I don't know, man. This isn't looking good to me. Um, this isn't looking good. I don't think I'm going to find any more clues. And I'm worried that I'm going to go back and try to talk to your leaf, and he's not going to have anything to say. Which is frustrating, because how the heck am I supposed to complete this quest? I mean, we'll go back in here again, but I don't think it's gonna do any good. Who's this guy? There's no glory in war. It's just something they uh-huh. Soldiers, so they'll risk their what lives. About you? Hey, you mix potions. I have to wonder. What does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thuan they call be taught? Me a war hero. Like any skill. I'm no hero. Alright. Just the soldier. Too many people talking to me at the same time. Aldrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. 
I'm not if you have any Nothing. news of the Western ports, we will take it to Ulf with the So frustrating. The Empire is putting a grew up here. A lot of history in these walls. And what would you for Ulf? He seems to value. I don't really have a mind for war. Nothing. Nothing at all. He likes having an untrained. He has nothing for me. They all know that. So I don't know, man. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Um It's very frustrating. We got these butcher journal that we picked up in the built in the place there. And um Anything else that we picked up in there? Let me see here. Museum pamphlet. I don't really see anything. Huh. So... Where is the... Look at the strange amulet. I'm wearing the strange amu amulet. And Borgroth a stronger mess. Terrible shame. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to care about the strange amulet. So, there's nothing there. So, uh, disclosure time. I did go online and look at what I'm supposed to do. And apparently this is a pretty regularly bugged quest. Um, but one thing I did see was uh, mention about a pamphlet in Hiram, or Hidajerim, however you pronounce it. Um, that you're supposed to get. You're supposed to get uh, the amulet, which I've gotten. Uh, you're supposed to get the amulet, and you're also supposed to get a pamphlet. And, I mean, I thought I picked everything up from these places here. Like this chest, there's just this beware the butcher thing here. Oh, well, I'll be damned. There you go. Follow up on the clues from from Jerem. So apparently I was supposed to pick that thing up even though I'd already read it. We were the butcher right here. I, I was supposed to pick all 11 of these up. So there you go. That's what did it. So now it is telling me, um, I guess I found all the clues. Now I'm supposed to get assistance from your leaf. Okay. I was supposed to pick those things up, man. I don't know why I had to pick up all 11 of them, but I did. So, there you have it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We're not out of the woods yet. But as you can see, I'm pretty eager to get this done. I'm gonna rush over here real quick. Alright, Yorleaf. Talk to me now, He's buddy. He'll come around. Hey, you. I'm, if you have any there news we of go. The Western Holds, take it to Ulfric immediately. Hey, uh, can you tell me anything about the Butcher? Ugh. Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts us all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. He's against us. Ask her about it if you want an earful. Okay. We'll ask her about it. Uh, do you know what this amulet is? I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Okay. Well. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. So, so he told to us a few things, and then. oddly enough, he's still showing up as somebody so, I can get assistance from. Terrible shame what happened to those women. That's it. If you'll excuse me, I must return to my duties. Was merely a huh. I'm waiting. That's it, man. We uh, with, we'll ask her about okay. it. Okay. Uh, well, he we remains in... So we're supposed to go find Viola and talk to her and then go to that curiosity shop and show the amulet to the guy there. So we're gonna go do that. Fancy yourself an alchemist, hmm? I never could get the hang of that. So there's a couple of markers on my uh, compass here. One of them's moving. So I'm thinking that maybe the one that's moving is Viola. That's my guess. Yeah. What's this? Oh, this is the House of Curiosities. I feel like I want to go see Viola first, but crap. How do I get to her? Oh, we go down this way. Okay. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down in the <laughs> Destruction magic's fine, just don't go burning down any buildings. 
Here she is. Hey, you. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Yeah, I've heard. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Well, what can you tell me about the butcher? It was specially I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. Hmm, okay. Um, how can the rest of the people not care? Oh, they care, all right. Just none of them thinks to do anything about it. They say I'm just snooping around bothering people. But I'm trying to save lives. Hmm. Why can't the guards help? They say they're too busy with the war. I say, what good is winning a war if we're still terrorized by one of our own? Alright, well I found this journal in the killer's lair. Huh? What's it say? It sounds like a necromancer has been experimenting. Woundfirth. There oh. have been rumors swirling about him for years. As long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll listen to you. Interesting. Why are my quests not being updated? This is annoying. I'm supposed to just remember this crap. All right. Need something? Okay, well, we're supposed to go talk to the steward about Woundfirth, but before we do that, we're going to go back to this curiosity shop and show this guy the amulet. Maybe he'll confirm that uh, Woundfirth is uh, guilty. Let's see if I can remember how to get to the curiosity shop. It's up here. There it is. Okay. I don't think we've been in here, have we? I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? We have not been in here, indeed. Ooh. Oh, he does have some curiosities, doesn't he? Yes. So there's a book that we haven't read yet. Oh, he's got some iron ingots here. Some, some scrolls. It's a hole in his floor. Another book over here. Nightingales, fact or fiction. Yeah, what else you got, dude? I'm gonna look around your shop a little bit, if you don't mind. He's got some curiosities, all right. Okay. He's just gonna sit there. He's very trusting. Dude. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Hmm, okay. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. How did you assemble this collection? My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago. So I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Mm-hmm. You uh, mentioned a tour? Indeed, I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Oh, golly gee, I'll take the tour. Splendid. If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. Ooh, cool. I can't wait. Yeah, this is going to be worth it. What do you got, man? Show me some stuff. This is cool. These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. They belonged to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Cool. What else she got? Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny. Or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Well, that's interesting. Now I really want to read it.
Ah, now here's an item out of legend. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. <laughs> Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, <laughs> you did not know Iskramor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Don't let this innocent-looking flute fool you, for this is the dancer's pipe. Legend holds that the dancer's pipe has won wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. To activate this strange power, <laughs> one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? This is a great tour, worth every gold piece. And with that, the tour is over. Hmm. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. Well, that was great. What's the, where's the clap button? Press, press F to clap. Our journey's been quite rewarding. Oh, shut up. So far. Hopefully you won't mind sharing the spoils. All right, well, let's get down to business here. Welcome to the House of Curiosity. Mm -hmm. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know anything about this amulet? Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the Wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. I would uh, be interested in acquiring it. If you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like oh. that, I could pay 500 gold. Ooh, 500 gold. Oh, my. Um, hmm. Um, would you buy it from me later? I'd like to have the 500 gold, and I don't think I have any use for it. Sure, take it. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. I could always steal it back from him later if I really, 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 really need it. I don't care much for the war one way or the other. Okay, so quest was finally updated here. Um talk to your leaf. That's what we do now. We go back and talk to your leaf, but first we go upstairs and check this guy's upstairs out. Oh, okay. It's just um just storage. I don't know how he gets up there. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, back to the palace we go to speak with your leaf again. Dude's gonna be sick of hearing from us. Every time we come in here, he's trying to have a meal. Keep bugging him. Oh, give us a straight answer. Oh, guess dinner time's over. He'll come he's around. back at his post. <laughs> Look where he's sitting. Well, you said, wait, that doesn't look solitude. very comfortable, dude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. Hey, dude. Not, if you have any news of the Western Holds, take it to yeah, Ulfric immediately. Us. I believe the killer is Woundfirth the Unliving. That's quite an accusation. I assume you have proof. Are you going yep. To wait? We have... You think I need uh, to send both we have evidence of necromancy and found his amulet. I don't want to believe it. Woundfirth has been a trusted friend to Ulfric for many years. It pains me to see that the whispers had truth to them. Woundfirth shall be apprehended. I thank you for your diligence in getting to the bottom of this matter. The streets of Windhelm are now safe. <laughs> yay, we completed Blood on the Ice. Yay, yay, yay. Is he really going to go arrest him now? I want to follow him. I want to see this happen. You should visit there. We're ready it's when you spectacular. are. Things and white run. where's he going? Woundfirth is up there. City you are coming with me. All the oh. You're finally going to arrest the butcher. The people oh. are behind you. Yes, sir. Many, I fear. He's finally going to arrest the butcher. They're going to go through this door here. That's where they're going to go, man. Yeah, here they come. Oh, this is awesome. We get to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I could help. Get out of the way, Teldrin. No fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. We'll kind of duck in here for the moment. Let them walk by, and then we'll walk in behind them. Yeah, go get him. 
<laughs> this guy's ready for action. Don't know what you're gonna do against a mage. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Uh huh. What are you waiting for, dude? Go. Dude, he's right in here. Go. Dude, come on. Where is he? He's right there. Dude, he's right there. Get out the door, Teldrin. Let him in. Okay. What is the meaning of this? You're under arrest for the murder of Susanna of Candlehearth Hall and Frigga Shattershield and all the rest. We are wise to your scheming, you coward. Has the whole city lost their brains? I've been scrying and auguring to find the murderer myself. Make your excuses from the bloodworks, wizard. Get him out of my sight. Hmm. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to come with me. This isn't over. This isn't over, he says. Well, it kind of sucks because um, I was learning stuff from him. Hey, man. This person is busy. Hey, dude. Can I learn some destruction magic before you go to jail? I guess not. <laughs> well, crap. Say, Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with Now there's one less person for me to learn apart. destruction magic from. And it's funny that it's still stealing from here. I guess it always will be. Just because the dude's in jail doesn't mean that his stuff's just here for free now. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he, you know, he made a good case. He was like, hey, I'm trying to find the murderer, to the butcher, too. I'm trying to find him. What the hell? It's like a door, kind of. It's not, though. Oh, Teldrin. Don't oh, suppose guard. you enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Um... Uh, We've already looked through all these places, haven't we? I grew we? up in the city of Blacklight in Morrowind. If you ever get the chance, you should visit there. It's spectacular. Teldrin, you talk too much. You know, that's one thing that Lydia didn't do. She wouldn't just, like, say random crap. Like this How guy does. How their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well, well. good friend. I've spent my life serving Talos. Why do you fight? I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. What's up, man? You know that. Yeah. He's busy too. Why do you fight? Everybody's busy. What then? I'll die before Well, um, I believe that's pretty much all there is to do here in Windhelm. Actually, we uh, completed the the whole deal with um blood on the ice here. I discovered that one fourth the unliving was the butcher of Windhelm and helped bring him to justice. That's it. That one's complete. I don't believe we have anything else to do in town here. Um, so I need to find another thing to do. Uh, although what I, I really should do is spend time my managing my inventory. But, uh, you guys need to names shut up. Let's go outside here where I can think. Okay. Well, um, I guess since I'm here. Oh, wait a minute. I want to buy that house. Just to talk to the steward about that. I want to buy Hajerum. I want that. Let's see if I can talk to him now. He's see if he's not busy door. anymore. He'll come around. Don't be so I'm not much of a strategist, yeah. but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Uh -huh. If you have any Darn news it. of the Western Holds, um, take it to Ulfric immediately. Hmm. I thought that there was a house I could buy here. It's dangerous house. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Okay, nothing here. He knows that. Hmm. They all know. Hell that. Hell that. Mm -hmm. Ulfric told us quite the story. Yeah. If yeah, but first, uh -huh. tell me. Shut it. How long are you um, going to wait? I mean, this guy is the what steward, right? Out, out with it. Huh. 
grew up here. Well, um, my only thought is that perhaps I need to let a day pass or something. I, I, I mean, this guard out here told us that Hajarim was available to purchase, and I think he said talk to the steward about it, I thought. So, um, and your leaf is the steward. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to the market and I am going to um, six men single-handed sell stuff. Hey, what's this? I've been a bit out of sorts since, hmm. since our daughter was okay. taken I thought maybe she might have some Not really sure news about Hajarim. I just miss her so much. What if I go back over to Hajarim? Boy, the lighting is so different now. You should unload some of that unwanted gear. Uh -huh. Head over to Sadri's used wares. Talk to the elf. Yeah, man. Thanks. Let's go over back over to Hajarim and see if there's anything different over here. I mean, this place is huge. And blood needs to be cleaned up. But, um, man, if I could buy this place, that'd be awesome. I mean, move my family here. Except for the fact that it's in freaking racist Windhelm. <laughs> Gotta clear I this room up. In the city of Blacklight in Morrowind. If you ever get the chance, you should visit there. Uh -huh. It's spectacular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So nothing here for us. So, um, I'm going to manage my inventory off camera. So what will take me probably at least half an hour, maybe longer, um, will be just a few seconds for you. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, as you can see, we are back here in, or we're still here in Windhelm, just outside of the palace. And took care of my inventory, got my gold up to over 11,000. Uh, I actually did go back to uh, Breezeholm in Whiterun to dump off some... Uh, stuff some I didn't feel like doing alchemy so I dumped off a bunch of my alchemy stuff there a bunch of ingredients and I also dumped off a bunch of like ingots and ore and stuff like that that I wasn't using at the moment uh, to lighten my load and Lydia was there but um, I could not trade with Lydia I need to make her my follower in order for me to trade with her and I didn't want to make her my follower because that would mean I'd have to send him back and I'd send him all the way back to Solstheim, and I wouldn't be able to get him back again unless I fast-traveled or, or, you know, took the boat back over there. So, um, no rush to get that stuff from her, I don't think. Uh, but since we're back here in, um, Windhelm, or we're in Windhelm, let's go and talk to Yorleaf. Uh, I slept the night, so it's, this is actually the next day. If you have any news of the Western it. Grew up a lot of history in these walls. Hmm. For Ulfric, he seems to value. Well, I don't really have a mind for war. I, um, I don't really know what it is that I need to do to um, get this guy to sell me Hajarim. Um, I mean, I'm assuming he's the one that I would need to talk to to get it done. Um, I wonder where the dungeons are. Actually, you know what? That might be interesting. We could go down in the dungeons and see if Woon, whatever his name is, down there. Um, and see if he has anything to say. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Go down there and just uh, see what he's got. If anything. Or in the old fort. Just let's go do that. I mean, I'm assuming he's down here. This is where the dungeons are. With their false kings. Maybe he'll plead his case. Or maybe he'll just be angry with us. I don't know. You should unload some of that unwanted gear. Mm -hmm. Head over to Sodri's used wares. I did just that. Unloaded a lot of stuff. There he is. Dude, talk to me. Whatever you've heard I can do <laughs> is probably true. I can still get training. You already know all that I know. Oh, we can't get training. That's right, I forgot. He can't Strength teach us anymore. That is well really funny that I could still be like, hey man, I know that I put you in jail, but could you treat me or teach me some more stuff? That's funny. Okay, well, I like that he's down here, though. I mean, that's where he should be. That's that's what the Staying dungeon's for. Trouble, kinsman? I like it. Heard about you and your honeyed words. My honeyed words. 
Well, um, here's a book here, Yellow Book of Riddles. Um, let's go ahead and end this episode here. I'm going to go ahead and read this book since we're standing here. Uh, let's have a seat. And uh, we'll read this Yellow Book of Riddles here to uh, the guards and see if they enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, let's do that right now. The Yellow Book of Riddles. Uh, for earnest pleasure and the strengthening of the mind, the author here collects all that he has learned of the art of riddling by dint of diligent study and through years of discourse with others of similar inclination. The posing and puzzling of riddles is a convention of polite, aristocratic Western society. Nobles and social aspirants collect books of riddles and study them, hoping thereby to increase the chances of their appearing sly and witty in conversation. A metal neither black nor red, as heavy as man's golden greed. What you do to stay ahead with the friend or arrow or steed. <laughs> and then there's the answer in reverse. It's so hard to figure out. Lead. A man says, if you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. What must you say to stay alive? Let's see here. If you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. What must you say to stay alive? Um, hmm. I don't know. The answer is you will slay me with a sword. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Interesting. So you tell him, yeah, you make a paradox. You say you will slay me with a sword, which is, is that the truth or is that a lie? If it's a lie, then he will slay you with a sword, but that'll make it the truth. And if it's the truth, then he'll slay him with a spell. But if he slays you with a spell, then he's telling then it's a lie. That's pretty clever. I like that. A Bosmer was slain. The Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill the Bosmer. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. If only one of these speaks the truth, who killed the Bosmer? Okay, the Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. Guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill the Bosmer. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. Huh. It just says the answer is the orc, but it doesn't really tell the, the uh, logic behind it or the reasoning. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway, there you go. That's all there is in that book. <laughs> all right. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, when we come back next time, um, I think I know what I want to do. Uh, what I want to do, since I've, I've got this, I've got a, a, a larger and larger collection of books. So I want to have a place to put them. And my bookshelf here in uh, White Run is full. So I can't put any more books there. So I think what I'd like to do is go back to um, our home, Lakeview Manor here. I'd like to go back here to Lakeview Manor and uh, start doing some work towards building a place to put my books. So. Maybe we will take a carriage from Windhelm to Riverwood or to Falkreath. Um, it's about the same distance, it looks like. I'm familiar with the path from Falkreath to here, though. So that I may decide to go to Falkreath. Then we'll go back to Lakeview Manor and um, start work on the addition for uh, a library. That's what I want to do. So... Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.